Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another exciting video for you. Today I'm talking about my educational journey, what I learned with each degree, and how those all set me up for a career in data science. As usual, please hit that like button if you enjoy this video, and if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. All right, I'd like to start with college because for most of high school, I was kind of a waste of space. I wasn't, I wasn't very focused. Um, and things really took a turn after a couple uh, years of college when I started to study things that I was actually interested in. And that took a long time. I had a lot of different majors. I studied psychology, environmental science, uh, health and exercise science, business administration, a whole host of things and the first time that I actually took a course that I liked it happened to be an economics course the way that we were learning we were seeing the world and we were seeing uh, trends in a very different way than I had understood them before we could actually model the world in terms of math in terms of supply and demand and we could understand how people function like what they're actually going to do and how markets work which was very fascinating to me. Ever since I took that class, I had been, you know, I was, I was struck with this way of looking at the world and I continued on that path. So I graduated with, um, you know, my bachelor's of science in economics. And I think I, I minored in business as well. And this has been, that experience was really good because I got a basic understanding of statistics and I also got a different way of thinking out about the world. I started to think about the world more quantitatively rather than just kind of observing individual instances of what was going on. I could look at the big picture rather than making all of my assumptions based on small amounts of data. And you know, that's really, for me, an important part of data science. You're looking at the data as a system. You're looking at the big picture a lot of the time and you're trying to make evaluations based on that. There are you know, small data models and, and small data algorithms, but for the most part, you're looking to try and understand big picture trends and to capitalize on them. After graduating college, I unsuccessfully attempted to play professional golf and you know, it was a great and fun experience, but I did not make any money. So I decided that I wanted to go back to school. I was really interested in becoming a management consultant. And I wanted to do that because I thought, you know, I, those people came off to me as people that were thinkers, they were problem solvers, and that, you know, that was very appealing to me, especially with my new worldview. So I went and I got my master's in global commerce, which is a global business degree. And I picked up some technical skills. So I learned some SQL, I learned how to do some basic statistics in R. I also learned how to work in a team and how to actually go about communicating the work that I was doing or tell a story, telling a story about a project or solution that we had come to. This was where I started the foundations of my interest in data science. I think telling a story is extremely important in data science. I also think, you know, understanding technical skills, manipulating data is, is integral to success in the field. And at this time, I'd also started to get really into sports analytics. So I was focusing on applying everything that I was learning in this sports realm. It, I didn't have a ton of success uh, in the short term there, but this did start the ball rolling to uh, develop my career in sports data science. After graduating, I did end up working in management consulting for about a year. And honestly, it wasn't uh, exactly what I thought it'd be. It was a lot of hours of doing kind of grunt work. I wasn't thinking as much as I was hoping. I still had this, you know, great passion for sports, for analytics, and I felt that I was reaching a roadblock with my technical skills. So I researched and I wanted to get a better understanding of programming languages, as well as a different way of thinking about problems. So I went back and I started my master's in computer science. This degree was absolutely different than anything I had ever learned before. Um, you know, it's a lot more technical. I hadn't had any programming experience. So I absolutely 
had to really study hard and grind to be able to keep up to speed. I did find that I, that I liked programming, that I liked computer science, and that it was very different from the educational experiences that I had before. Computer science was fairly solitary. We didn't do a ton of group work. Um, and the problems are relatively, relatively binary. So either your program works or it doesn't. In business school, in college, you could get partial credit. You know, if, if, if something was close or you could sell the teacher, um, you, you would get points. But in, in this uh, scope of study, it was very black and white, which was a, a very different perspective and an interesting perspective for me. In this degree, I learned a whole lot of different things, mostly technical skills, but I learned how to work with SQL. I learned Python, uh, R, Scala, C, Java, and a bunch of different language languages. I learned how networks work, how databases function, how uh, frameworks like MapReduce work. And, you know, that was, in my mind, like the next level in terms of, of understanding how to do really high quality data science. So data science is obviously heavily focused on the statistics and the math, but in order to be a really good data scientist, in my opinion, you have to be able to implement what you're doing and make it a product, make it into something that's usable by people. I'm also very interested in entrepreneurship in general and having a background in technology is really valuable. You know, being a creator rather than um, someone who supports is very, very freeing in my mind. It's something that I, I really appreciated um, uh, uh, learning about in that degree. I chose to go the master's in computer science route over the master's in data science route because of those entrepreneurial ambitions that I had. I thought that it was easier to you know, sell myself as a technical partner or to be able to actually spin something up if I had that broader background. I did concentrate in artificial intelligence and machine learning though, so I took mostly those courses, but I still had this, the core software engineering um, networks and systems courses that any uh, computer science student would have. For me, going back to school the second time, I, I think was one of the best decisions that, that I've made. I was able to learn a whole lot. I picked up these technical skills that I might not otherwise would have gotten. I also have a learning style that lends itself very well to the classroom. That's something that I knew if I tried to learn this on myself, I wouldn't have as much success because of just how I learn and how I work. I think for many other people, the formal education route might not be the best approach. If you're really a self-starter, and I know there are a lot of them out there, I think the quality of courses, the quality of material outside of a formal setting, you know, anywhere on the internet, on YouTube, on Udemy, Udacity, uh, EDX, all these websites is the same quality, if not better than you'd find in a university setting. There just isn't that formal structure that encourages you to work on it all the time. For me, I kind of need someone kicking me in the butt to make sure I do my homework and to turn things in on time. Um, and apparently I, I have to pay for that. I think it goes without saying that this computer science degree was the most important educational experience uh, for me in order to become a data scientist. Because of this, I was able to talk the talk and inevitably walk the walk um, in the data science realm. I learned basically all of the necessary skills and I was able to practice them on projects and in internships, etc. Um, you know, one thing that a lot of people don't think about when they're they're in school is that you're you can do internships you can get a bunch of different job experience while you're doing it um, and you can kind of double your your learning your capacity because you're putting into practice what you're learning at the same time and applying your knowledge is in my opinion the best way to learn having a project having a job um, it just it's just reinforcement all the way through I obviously like where I am now. I'm able to help a lot of people get into the field and to help them learn about my experience in data science. If I could go back, I would probably change a couple things to really maximize my potential. I think that if I had studied something a bit more technical in college, if I had focused on computer science, math, physics, or you know something slightly more intellectual, 
um, that would have paid dividends in the future. When I learned computer science so late in my, you know, my third degree, I was never able to get as good a grasp on it as some other people who had learned it earlier. I kind of speak it, you know, when someone learns a language late in life, they usually have an accent. I kind of think of my computer science uh, knowledge as having an accent. And, you know, it does give me a little bit of different perspective, but again, it does not come naturally when I program or when I put together an application. You know, something else that I would have done differently as well is have focused on my organization. So as a student, I had a bunch of different projects, I had a bunch of different homeworks, and that's all great content for me to be able to share with potential employers, to share with others, to help them understand the subject better. I was fairly disorganized, I didn't have my code in a repo, and it, you know that's something that I really wish I had together more organized now. I've gone back, I've put some of it together, but when I was writing it, if I took better notes, if I had you know had better comments, etc., that would have really you know done Future Ken a huge favor. The last thing that I think I would have done a little bit differently is I would have loved to have stayed in touch with more of my classmates and with my professors and the, the whole staff at, at all of the schools. You know, I felt like I was treated really well at every school that I went to, and I, you know, I, I'd love to be able to continue those relationships, to be able to give back with educational content, or you know, potentially even with money in the future. Um, you you have a great network through schools. Your professors, your you know, employment centers, etc., can really help you out and connect you to the correct people. Uh, I know that whenever I'm you know pitching a new business or um, I'm uh, trying to, to grow something that I'm working on, it's usually the people from my academic networks that I reach out to first. Um, you know, people that I've gone to school with also reach out to me and it's, it's great to be able to, to share and talk about uh, that, that one thing that we have in common. One final note, although I do have two master's degrees, I don't think a graduate degree is really necessary to become a data scientist or to become a high level top tier data scientist. I really believe that the quality of your work uh, is more representative of your skill than how many degrees you have. And if you do really good work, you document it well, and you're constantly learning, I think that that will take you just as far as any degree will, period. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.